Okay, well, it's a couple minutes after one o'clock, so let's go ahead and get started. Uh, if people continue to trickle in, that's great. And we will um, just continue and catch them up to speed. So, uh, hello, everyone. My name is Scott Greenler with Seoul United Neighbors, and uh, with me is Alexis Miller. And we're going to talk about uh, volunteer training. Uh, before we dive into the slides, I just want to let folks know that I will be watching the chat box. So if you have any questions, um, please feel free to type it in there and we'll try to address everyone's questions as we go along. Um, so yeah, feel free. I will be watching there. But other than that, uh, Alexis, you want to take us away? Yeah, thank you so much, Scott. And thank you all for being here. Again, my name is Alexis Miller. We're really excited to have this training today. Um, so. Just so you guys are aware of our agenda for the day, we are going to start with introductions and then talk about overview of who Solar United Neighbors is, so you know a little bit more about us, and then talk about what you can do and how you can be involved, involved and then the next steps for getting involved. Um, like Scott mentioned, um, we do welcome any questions that you guys have. You're welcome to put them in the chat feature of Zoom. We'll answer them throughout um, as possible and then also have time at the end for answering questions. So feel free to throw those in there and we'll be monitoring that. If you're having any technical difficulties, you're also welcome to put those in the chat or send, that's my email and we'll monitor that as well and be able to help you out. Um, my email is amiller at solarunitedneighbors.org. So introductions, as we said, my name's Alexis Miller. I'm an engagement specialist with Solar United Neighbors. My states that I'm over are Arizona, Indiana, Ohio, Pennsylvania, Virginia, in West Virginia, as well as um, individual opportunities in states that we don't have a state program. Um, I've been with the organization since May of last year and really love working on um, sustainability and ways that we can tangibly help to build a more sustainable future. So I've really enjoyed working here and really enjoyed working with Scott. So with that, I'll let him give you guys an introduction and talk a little bit more about himself. Yeah, thanks, Alexis. Um, I'm uh, Scott Greenler. I have been with Solar United Neighbors for uh, about a year and a half, and I work in Colorado, DC, Florida, Maryland, New Jersey, and Minnesota. Um, yeah, and I'm really excited to help build volunteer power uh, across our states and outside of our program states to uh, really promote solar and uh, sustainable infrastructure for the future that is uh, not owned by huge utilities, but owned by uh, regular people. So um, I hope you all are excited as I am to uh, see that become a reality. Thanks, Scott. And an overview just about us is that we are a national 501c3 nonprofit. We mentioned those states that we work in, and we'll talk a little bit more about the specific states we work in, as well as our national work as a whole. Um, and as Scott mentioned, we um, work primarily with folks with rooftop solar and want to make sure that that is in the hands of folks who can own that solar. We provide education and technical assistance to folks who are interested in going solar. It's kind of two parts to our work. One part is going solar, helping folks through that process. And then the other part is advocacy and making sure that there are solar friendly policies in all the states so that folks who want to go solar have um, a good option and available option for them to be able to do that. Um, as part of our work, we are a consumer advocate, so really want to be able to provide quality education for folks around solar and be a non-biased um, person for them to come to for that information. So we are installer neutral and financing neutral. Um, and we really do push for policies that support making an option for everyone to be able to go solar. And we're working to build this solar movement through, we have a lot of online groups. One of them mentioned here, our listservs, our Google, their Google group that you can um, communicate with other folks on as well as Facebook and social media. We have a lot of events that range from information sessions to learn more about solar to our big um, solar congresses, which are a day of, or a whole day event where you can learn more about solar as well as advocacy and how to get involved in our different state programs as well as we do a lot of advocacy events lobby days and online advocacy actions that you can be involved in and a ton of volunteer opportunities which is obviously why you all are here and 
we'll be talking more in depth about those throughout the presentation as well. Um, this is our mission statement. We're a community of people building a new energy system with rooftop solar at the cornerstone. We help people to go solar, join together and fight for their energy rights. And like Scott mentioned, we're really excited about this being the way of the future and the way to build um, a clean energy future for everyone. And how we started, this is a photo of our CEO and founder Anya, her son and his friend who watched the film An Inconvenient Truth and felt inspired to do something and to make an action from that. So they um, he went to his mom, Anya, and said, I want to take our home solar. And she saw the barriers and challenges to that cost and things like that and kind of challenged him back that we'll go solar if you can get our whole neighborhood to go solar. Kind of thinking he wouldn't be able to do that, but he actually and her went door to door and were able to get a community of folks who were interested in going solar. And that was kind of the basis of the first um, solar co-op that happened in DC and is the basis for our go solar work that we do throughout all of our state programs. And they were able to go solar and eventually folks wanted Ani to help them with their community and in different states and various areas that kind of helped to build what our program is today which is now we are in 13 different states. These are the states that we have on the ground staff there with the state director who helps to run these solar co-ops where people can go solar together. They come and form a solar co-op where folks can benefit from the power of bulk purchasing pricing as well as the education and um, uh, background of the solar director to help guide them through that process and be that unbiased opinion to help them navigate going solar um, and then have the community around them to go solar together. So we have state directors in each of these states and co-ops happening as well as working on a lot of different advocacy um, items in each of these states that are continuing to help build that solar movement and make it a solar friendly state. And we are looking to expand nationwide and do also offer a membership program where folks are able to go solar in other states um, through directly working with someone in our DC office to help them through that process. Um, and we do do several national programs as well. So even if you're not in one of those states, you can still be an advocate and help to build the solar movement. Um, On to our national work. These are a couple of the programs that we do throughout the nation, one of them being our Sun Patch program, which is a youth education program um, guided towards uh, Girl Scouts and Boy Scouts, but it can be tailored to other youth education groups as well. And they learn all about how solar works and are able to do hands-on activities to teach them about solar, as well as see solar in their community and learn more about it, really creating the foundation for our future. We've had girls um, and one Boy Scout group do it throughout the nation. So it's a really great program. And then our Bruce from the Sun initiative is a competition for the America's favorite solar powered brewery. We've done it the past two years. We won't be doing it in 2020, but um, it's been a really fun way to be able to connect folks who wouldn't normally know about solar and um, get them involved in the solar movement. And then the national solar tour happens every October. We've been on a, part, a partner on the tour with the American Solar Energy Society for the past two years. It happens um, in October this year as well. And it's a really fun event where folks can go and see solar tours and experience solar in person. So it's, you have a solar powered home, business, nonprofit, anything like that, then you're welcome to open your space for folks to come and learn more about solar. It's really powerful when people are able to see solar in action and be able to ask questions to someone who's been through the solar process. And so that is a really great event that happens throughout the entire nation. And we're really excited about that again this year. Um, some of the impact of what Solar United Neighbors has done. The National Solar Tour last year had 850 solar open houses. Through the Sun Patch program that I mentioned, we've had 1,870 youth educated. Through our solar co-ops, we've had 221 of those and um, 4,579 homes that have gone solar through those and that grows daily. And a lot of pounds of lifetime CO2 offset because of those homes that have gone solar. 
and then 622 jobs created um, through these solar community co-ops that help to vitalize um, solar markets in these different areas. So it's been really amazing and it's really a great organization to be a part of and is really having a tangible impact in um, all of our communities. And I'm going to turn it over to Scott to talk with you all more about the specific opportunities that we have. Yeah, thanks Alexis. Um, so a lot of what we do um, is, you know, through the amazing state directors that we have and uh, the staff here in our DC headquarters, but a lot of it comes from our network and people who are just passionate about solar energy, who maybe have gone through and put solar on their own house or business um, and who recognize the value and want to help spread the word within their community. So um, generally our model has three parts, join together, go solar and fight for your energy rights. Join together being sort of the co-op model that we uh, just talked about, where we get a neighborhood of people to come together to learn more about solar. Um, and then of course, going solar, putting solar up on your roof. Um, and then fighting for your energy rights is uh, sort of the advocacy component where we're making sure that we're defending solar friendly policies uh, at the state and federal level. Um, and even at the municipal county level, um, on down to HOAs, um, really just making sure that there is a good regulatory environment for people who want to go solar, that there aren't a lot of barriers um, and that they're fairly compensated for the energy that they're producing. So what can you do to help build this movement? Um, there are a number of volunteer opportunities that we have across our states. Um, they kind of break down into four categories. Uh, one we like to call community organizing, which includes canvassing, staffing a table at a social event, posting flyers in a community, working with other community organizations or educating youth. Basically just getting out into the community, helping to spread the word, helping to educate folks, um, helping to bring new people in who maybe haven't considered solar or thought about their energy usage that much um, to you know, get more people on board. Um, second category we have is planning events, uh, another great way to reach out to people in the community. Um, we've got uh, like movie screening toolkits. Um, we've had people host uh, postcard parties before where they'll bring everybody, uh, you know, over to their house and have everybody write letters to their um, elected representatives uh, or letters to their local newspaper. Um, planning a, a social gathering, like a happy hour, can be a great way to get people together um, who care about this issue and uh, sort of help elevate uh, the profile within the community. Um, the last two categories are in-person advocacy and online actions. Um, in-person advocacy, that's kind of, uh, some people really love this, some people really don't, I think, um, but it's when you're really interacting with those decision makers, elected representatives, uh, to push for those solar-friendly policies. So attending a hearing, um, going and doing a lobby visit with an elected representative, going to a press conference, um, those are really impactful ways that you can uh, make a more fair and just equity, uh, equitable energy system. Um, the online actions uh, also have a really big impact, uh, showing support for solar friendly policies by signing a petition, writing an email, uh, writing a postcard, a letter to the editor, um, submitting public comment online. Uh, those are the things that kind of show those decision makers and elected representatives that there is really strong public support for solar energy and solar friendly policy. Um, another great way that you can help uh, support solar growth in your community is if there is a solar co-op nearby. Um, solar co-ops aren't everywhere. We're not running them, you know, uh, everywhere at all times, but they are, we do have a list of them on our website. Um, and if there's one near you, um, you can certainly help by spreading the word, uh, posting on social media, tabling, basically just reaching out to people in the community, letting them know that this opportunity exists, um, and then encouraging them to educate themselves and learn a little bit more about solar and 
maybe even go solar themselves. So um, if you haven't already, I uh, encourage you to take a look on our website and see where those co-ops are. Um, and if there's one nearby you, that's obviously a great way to get involved. So given that there isn't a solar co-op uh, by everyone, we want to make sure that everyone has a way that they can get involved. Um, and so each month we have a volunteer action that folks can do kind of regardless of where they live. And this one, in uh, the Valentine's spirit, we are doing a postcard ask. So we have a, a website, it's called ilovemy.solar. You can see the link there um, on the screen. And if you go to this website, it will um, allow you to upload some photos and write a, a message to your representative um, encouraging them to support solar friendly policies or talking about why you support solar. Uh, there's a, a couple of suggestions, but it's all customizable so you can decide what you want to say. Um, and then it will automatically send actually a physical postcard to your, uh, your senators, your two federal senators, your uh, house member, and uh, I believe your state representatives as well in some cases. Um, so it just automatically sends this message of uh, support for solar to uh, lawmakers and decision makers uh, who are crafting policies that really affect the viability of solar. Um, so if you haven't filled out a postcard, I would strongly encourage you to do one yourself. But actually this month, we're asking you to go and um, help us gather more of these postcards. So. Uh, we came up with a solar valentine, uh, which if you go to the next slide here, Alexis, uh, looks like that on the bottom left corner. Uh, so if you sign up at solarunitedneighbors.org slash valentine, we will send you a packet of solar valentines for you to send out to your friends and family um, that encourages them to go and write their elected representative. So, uh, kind of taking the holiday and giving it a little bit of a, a social activist uh, turn. Um, so if you go back to that previous slide, Alexis, if you're interested in participating in this month's volunteer action, please go to that link you see at the bottom, solarunitedneighbors.org slash solarvalentine, and sign up to participate. Uh, yeah, go to the next slide. Yeah, so once you sign up, we'll send you the Valentines in the mail. Um, and then we encourage you to send those to people that you think uh, support solar in your community as well. Um, friends, family, loved ones. Uh, adding a little social activism to volunteer or to Valentine's Day this year. Um, there's always a list of volunteer opportunities. If that's not your cup of tea, you can find uh, some other ways to get involved at solarunitedneighbors.org slash volunteer. And uh, always feel free to reach out to us uh, with any other ideas or questions um, at getinvolved at solarunitedneighbors.org. That goes to both Alexis and I, so we will see it and uh, we'll try to respond to you as quickly as we can. Um, so I think with that, we will open it up to some questions. If you have any questions, uh, feel free to type them into the chat and we will answer them uh, as they come in. Or if we don't have any questions, uh, we can wrap up a little bit early. But I do encourage uh, you all to go check out solarunitedneighbors.org slash volunteer. It has uh, our monthly volunteer action, as well as a list of other ways that you can get involved. Um, or to, you know, feel free to reach out to us uh, at getinvolved at solarunitedneighbors.org. And Otherwise, thank you so much for attending and I uh, hope to hear from you all soon. Thank you all for your time. Oh, we got one question here. 
Does Solar United Neighbors ever actually build a community solar system and then sell the energy from it to its members? Uh, no, we haven't built a community solar. Uh, for, for people who don't know what that is, community solar is uh, typically like a subscription service um, where you'll build a, a really large project, either like in a field or on top of uh, a large building. And then folks who are near that project can buy shares um, in order to participate and get clean energy. Um, it's usually a little bit cheaper than what is offered just by the regular electricity company in an area. Um, that's a great question. Seoul United Neighbors does not, uh, you know, sell really anything. Um, so we don't do community solar on our own. We do, however, have a referral service um, on our website as well. You can go and see the different community solar projects in your area uh, if you're interested in going solar that way. That's a great question. Thank you. Anyone else have questions? And if you think of a question at a later time, obviously feel free to email us. Uh, our email address is up there. But um, not seeing any other questions at the moment. So I just want to thank everyone again for attending. And I think we can wrap up. Yeah, thank you all for your time. And we'll be sending out a recording of this as well as an email with all these links. So you can feel free to also respond to that if you have any questions or um, ideas of how you want to be involved. Scott and I are happy to work with you on that. And thank you all. And we hope you have a great rest of your day. All right.